Hey, Lamont. All right. So, we're going to start. In a right triangle, okay, you have, if I'm looking at angle A, you see this angle A here? Yeah. Okay. So this yes. is across from angle A, it's opposite. Okay, yeah. does, it, does it make sense that that side, this, this side right here is opposite angle A? You okay with that? Yeah. Okay. This 
is called adjacent. It's next to the angle. There are two sides that make up the angle. There's the adjacent and the hypotenuse. The hypotenuse here is directly across from the right angle. This right angle, this little edge here, points to the hypotenuse always. The right angle always points to the, it, the hypotenuse. The hypotenuse is always the slanted one. The opposite and the adjacent, they're always the straight up and down or straight across. Hypotenuse is the slanted one, okay? So here, what if I'm looking at angle B? Now I'm looking at this angle B, okay? Does it make sense that now this is opposite? It's across from angle B. You see what I'm saying? Wait, so you're saying that B is... If I'm talking about angle A, then this is opposite. But if I'm talking about angle B, then this is opposite. Do you see what I'm saying? Yeah. Okay. The hypotenuse is still the hypotenuse. And then the, angle, the side that's not the hypotenuse is the adjacent. Okay. Hold on a second. Okay. All right, now, what I'm saying here is, is what number is opposite A? What's opposite A? Nope. Opposite I means straight across. What number is straight across from A? Did you say three? Yeah. Yes. Okay. Three is opposite A. Okay. What number is opposite? See angle B? No, oh, I didn't. I didn't. I didn't hear you. Um, I think it's four. Yes. Okay. What number is adjacent to A? Five. That's the hypotenuse. Well, you understand five is the hypotenuse because the right angle is pointing to the hypotenuse. 
Okay. So what is adjacent A? Four. Yes. What is adjacent to B? Five is the hypotenuse. Five is always the hypotenuse. Regardless if I'm looking at this, at this angle or this angle, this is always gonna be the hypotenuse, okay? You understand what I'm saying? Yeah. Okay, so what's adjacent to B? Three. Okay. Yeah. Okay. This is what I need you to memorize. Sokotoa. Sokotoa. Okay. Sign is opposite over hypotenuse, S-O-H, okay, S, O, H. So, cosine is adjacent over hypotenuse, tan is opposite over adjacent. So, what sign of A? If I'm looking at angle A, this angle here. What sign? What number over what number? What over what? Opposite over hypotenuse. Um, huh? I don't know. Okay. From angle A, what's opposite? Did you say three? Yeah. Okay. Why? Why do you keep getting muffled? I don't. I don't do you know why? I don't, I don't know the answer. I don't know how to. Yeah. Opposite is three, right? What's the hypotenuse? Five, is that what we said? So sine of A is three over five. Are you okay with that? Yeah. Cosine of A, okay? Cosine is adjacent over hypotenuse. What's adjacent? Four. Did you say four? You're very muffled, so I'm, it's hard for me to hear you. Four, okay. What's the hypotenuse? Five. Four over five. That is cosine of A. What's tan of A? Tan is opposite over adjacent. What's opposite A? Three. Very good. What's adjacent? Four. Very good. So tan of A is three over four, okay? Now let's look at B. Now we're looking at B, okay? Sine of B, okay? Sine is opposite over hypotenuse. What's opposite B? Four. What's the hypotenuse? Four. Did you say five? Four over five. What's cosine B? What's adjacent? 
Five. Five is the hypotenuse. What's adjacent? Zero. <clears throat> oh, I'm sorry. Did you say, I'm sorry. Did you say three over five? No, three over four. Three over four. Um, adjacent is three. The hypotenuse is five. Three over five is cosine of B. Okay. And then tan of B, what's opposite B? Three. Okay. Four over three, right? Yeah. Okay. So you good there? Yeah. All right. Um, hold on. Okay, here now. Again, Sokotoa. All right, here's X. Now, what's sine of X? What's opposite X? Opposite. Okay, 36. What's the hypotenuse? Nine. Very good. Now, what's cosine x? What's adjacent to x? Fifteen thirty-two. Adjacent is fifteen. The hypotenuse is 39, right? Okay. Tan of X, what's opposite X? 36. And what's adjacent? 15. 15. That's how it works. Are you good so far? Yeah, can you go back to the um, last slide so I can take Yeah. Okay. okay. Now, Sokotoa. I'm looking at this angle because that's the one they're giving me. Is this opposite, adjacent, or hypotenuse? That's. That's opposite. Correct. Opposite. Okay. Now, what is this? Hypotenuse. Hypotenuse. So we have O, we have H, right? Yeah. O and H. So which of these three Am I gonna use? Am I gonna use so ka or toa? Which one has the O and the H in it? So. So. So I'm gonna use sine. 
S is for sign, right? So I'm gonna use sign. Sine, and it's always sine or cosine or tan of the angle. It's not gonna be sine 15, sine 35, okay? Equals opposite over hypotenuse. What's opposite? X. What's hypotenuse? 15. You okay so far? I need a yes. Yes. Okay. So now I'm gonna put sine 35 over one. Do you understand cross multiply? You understand how that works? Yeah. Okay. So I'm gonna say one X or X equals 15 sine 35, okay? So now on your calculator, are you using a phone calculator? Okay, type 15, okay? and type times 35, but then sign after 35. Okay, then hit equals. Do you get 8.6? No. Okay, let's, um, are you on second? Is, is second lit up? No. Okay. In the bottom left-hand corner, does it say rad? Yeah. Okay. So let's try this again. Hit clear. Type 15 times 35 sine equals I got 8.6 8.6 all right that's how we do it next <clears throat> all right so Katoa. Okay, <clears throat> looking at this angle, <clears throat> is that opposite, adjacent, or hypotenuse? Um, that's adjacent. Um, adjacent makes up this angle here. So we have, this angle makes up the 46 degrees, right? Okay. So in the angle, you're gonna have the hypotenuse and the adjacent. Adjacent means next to, okay? This 46 is next to this side here, okay? So this 17, 17 is across from 46. It's opposite. Does that make sense? Yeah. Okay. And X is what again? Top news. Top news. So we have O, we have H, which means once again, we're using this guy, right? Sine 46 equals 17 over X, right? 
because we're doing opposite over hypotenuse, right? So putting this over one this time, sine 46x equals 17, right? Yeah. Now let me ask you a question. Remember back in the day when we did 3x equals 12. We did, to find x, we did 12 divided by 3, right? Yeah. So aren't I going to do x equals 17 divided by sine 46? That makes sense? So I'm supposed to divide every time? In the, not every time. See here, in this problem, x was on top. Okay, x was on top because x was opposite. But in this problem, x is the hypotenuse. x is on the bottom. So when x is on the bottom, we're gonna divide. If x is on top, you're gonna to multiply. You understand? Yeah. Okay. So now do 17 divided by 46 sine equals. You get 23.6. I didn't hear you. Was that a yes? Yes. Okay. Okay. Now. Here's 22 degrees. What's X? Opposite, adjacent, or hypotenuse? Adjacent? Yes. And 12 is what? Hypotenuse. Very good. So now we have A, H. So which of these three are we gonna use? The middle one. The middle one, right? which means we're going to use cosine. Cosine 22, because it's always sine, cosine, or tan of the angle, equals adjacent over hypotenuse, x over 12. Does that make sense? Yeah. Cosine 22 over 1, cross multiply. 1x or just x equals 12 cosine 22. On your calculator, do 12 times 22 cosine equals. Did you get 11.1? Yeah. Does that make sense? Yeah. Okay. So Katoa. From this angle, what's the 10? Opposite adjacent hypotenuse. Adjacent. Very good. And what's X? Hypotenuse. Very good, hypotenuse. Which one do we use? So, Ka, or Toa? Ka. Huh? Yeah. 
Correct. Again, we're using cosine. But this time, x is on the bottom, 10 adjacent over hypotenuse. So we're going to have cosine 50x equals 10. Okay. So we're going to divide, right? Understand? Yeah. Do 10 divided by 50 cosine. equals. Now, because on your calculator, you should get 15.557. It's going to be 15.6, right? If you round up on correct. Okay. Because the five makes it a six, right? Over here. And 32 is X opposite adjacent or hypotenuse. Um, hypotenuse. Hypotenuse is always across from the right angle. See the right angle? So it's adjacent. Oh no, it's opposite. It's opposite. Very good. You understand why it's opposite? Because it's across from the right from the angle from 32 degrees. Okay. Yeah. Hey, sis. Okay. Yeah. Okay. I'm good. How are you? Okay. Te quiero. Oh, don't be sorry. You're fine. All right. Um, X is opposite. What is 19? Adjacent. Very good. Very good. Because from the right angle, this is the hypotenuse, right? So very good. Does that make sense? You're exactly right. Are we good? Yeah. So we have opposite and adjacent. So which of the three are we going to use? So, ka or toa? Well. Did you say toa? Yeah. OK. Good. Tan, 32, equals opposite x over 19, OK? All right, so now cross multiply x equals 19 tan 32. Okay, on your calculator, type 19 times 32 tan equals. Isn't it 12? 11.9. So you don't round to them. Because we're in the Delta math, it wants one decimal place, one number after the decimal point. So that's 11.9, does that make sense? Yeah. Okay. Over here. From 63, is 17 opposite, adjacent, or hypotenuse? 17? 
Yeah. Um, that's a Jason. Jason is going to be this guy. 17 is across from the 63. Okay. Oh. This guy's opposite, and this guy's adjacent, which means we're using tan. And 63 equals 17 over X. Cross multiply, tan 63X equals 17. So we're gonna divide 17 divided by tan 63. Okay, on your calculator, you're gonna do 17 divided by 63 tan equals 8.7. Yeah, I got that. Good. Okay. Now, I want you to just tell me, okay. What is 17, opposite, adjacent, or hypotenuse, using the 47? Adjacent. All right, so do you agree that the 47 is made up of this side and this side? Um, yeah. Okay. Is the 17 actually touching? Is it one of the sides that makes up the angle? No. The one side that doesn't make up the angle is always the opposite. Okay? Yeah. Now, you know that this is the hypotenuse, yes? because the right angle points to the hypotenuse. Does that make sense? That makes this here the adjacent. Does that make sense? Yeah. So we have opposite and adjacent, right? Yeah. We're gonna use tan, right? Here, here's the angle making up the 17 degrees. What's X, opposite, adjacent, hypotenuse? Adjacent. Okay, remember I said that the side that doesn't make up the angle is called the opposite. Do you see how these two sides, these two sides here make up this angle, right? The side that doesn't make up the angle is called opposite. Okay, so I drew these two sides for you. These two sides make up the angle. The side that doesn't make up the angle is the X. What do we call that? Opposite. Thank you. And what's 16? Hypotenuse. Very good. So we have opposite and hypotenuse. All right. Is that going to be? Sine, cosine, or tan? 17. Okay. Oh, I see, I see. Are we gonna use sine, cosine, or tan? Uh, so I'm, I'm picking the ones at the top, right? 
Yeah, the first, the second, or the third. The third. Okay. No, no, no. The, is it? No, no, no. It's not the third. No. First one. Very good. Ready to sign. Okay. Okay. Now. Here's the angle. This time there is nothing over here. Okay. So what's 18? Opposite adjacent hypotenuse. Opposite. Well, what I said before over here was that the opposite is the side that's not making up the angle. That was uh, the 17 here was opposite. Over here, X was opposite, right? The one that doesn't make up the angle. You see in this problem here that the part that doesn't make up the angle is blank. There's no number attached to it. Okay. Oops. So what's 18? 18 is not opposite. Adjacent. 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 And what's X? Um, the hypotenuse. Very good. Okay. So which one are we going to use? Sine, cosine, or tan? Um, um, Did you say the middle one? Yeah. Yeah, cosine. Okay. Over here. Here's the angle. Do you see how opposite is blank this time? Yeah. What is 15 opposite adjacent or hypotenuse? Um, 18. Yep. And X is? Hypotenuse. Very good. So we're going to use sine, cosine, or tan. Um, cosine. Very good. You get that? Yeah. Okay. So now, here's 66 degrees. X, is that going to be opposite, adjacent, or hypotenuse? Adjacent. 93 is what? Very good. Adjacent, opposite. Which do we use, sine, cosine, or tan? Wait, so 93 is, you said 93 is opposite? No, I agree um, with you. You said hypotenuse, right? Yeah. Yeah, that's correct. Adjacent, hypotenuse, A, H. Which function are we gonna use? Um, Cosine. Cosine. So we're going to do cosine 66 equals x over 93. Cosine 66 equals x over 93. Cross multiply. 93 times cosine 66. 
If you do that on your calculator, you'll get 37.8. Yeah, I got that. Good. Okay. So now I would like you to try. All right. Yeah. Go ahead and try that assignment. See how you do. Okay. Um, if you struggle, email me. Okay. You good? Yeah, I'm good. Okay. All right. Um, oh, let me just show you one more thing. Hold on. Uh, so today we did this. Now we're finding an angle. We're finding an angle that is backwards. So we're gonna use sine negative one, cosine negative one, tan negative one, okay? But again, 14, is that opposite, adjacent, or hypotenuse? Adjacent. Good, and 52 is the what? Hypotenuse. Yes, hypotenuse, right? Yeah. So we're gonna do adjacent over hypotenuse. On your calculator, you do 14 divided by 52. It equals. Let me get this. 14 divided by 52, right? But this time we're using second. Okay, and we're gonna use Inverse cosine, do sec, uh, cosine negative one. And you should get 74.38, which- I do, that for, I do that for all of these? You got, yes, all of them. It's just divide the two numbers. And then it's inverse, either a sine, cosine, or tan. Okay. But this says to the nearest degree, so that's just going to be 74 done. How, how would you know which one to divide first? OK, because Sokotoa, OK? Um, uh, so when you do Sokotoa, ka, cosine, ka, right? A H, it's A over H. Okay. If it was sine, it would be opposite over H. If it was tan, it would be opposite over adjacent. Do you understand? Mm -hmm. Yeah, I agree. It's always in that order, always. Okay. Yeah. So now I want you to try both assignments, okay? Yeah. Okay. If I don't hear from you, have a good weekend. Say no to drugs. Thank you for your time. You're welcome.